With the road being what it has been with its difficulties in terms of sexuality, in terms of my freedom to express myself how I wanted to, even through singing and how I sing, um, there was pushback and resistance, you know? But I wasn't unfamiliar with that. You know, it wasn't like I was born in the Bronx and not called faggot. So I knew already what it was like to, you know, be put in a little area, you know, and criticized and made to feel different. So pushback from record companies and radio programmers and people that had their own issues and were unable to see me for who I was without me needing to be the next brother that made that song over there or that video over there, that wasn't unfamiliar. So it didn't bother me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It didn't bother me. It didn't prevent me from still being who I am and doing what I needed to do, singing the songs and writing the songs I needed to write. You know? There was nothing in me that would go against myself. No. Absolutely not. Like sitting here thinking about it, I'm like, who does that? Who does that? Who can live with themselves after that? I'm not doing that. I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. You know, and when I think about the time frame in which my first album came out and again, the pushback that I was getting all because of how I was emoting, okay? How I was emoting. I wasn't trying to wear high heels, you know? I, I, I wasn't trying to put on a dress at the time, but you would have thought, oh my God, he can't, he can't blah, blah. Like what? And they would try to present it in ways that was like, listen, all you gotta do is this and then you can. Like, what? You're kidding me, right? I just was singing how I was singing. Walking how I was walking, you know? And it didn't fit into <laughs> the disguise that a lot of people wear. And I just wasn't doing it, you know? And there were probably opportunities and prices that were paid by me for not conforming. You know, things that were taken away, you know? But again, what's for me is for me. That wasn't for me. That doesn't mean it wasn't lonely in there. You know what I mean? When you're the only one, but then you see other ones, but they're not acting like they're a part of the team. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it felt kind of lonely in there, but it was what it was. And I wasn't unfamiliar with feeling loneliness either. And with time, that turns into solitude. <laughs> you know, and peace. I will say though, being able to observe other artists who have been influenced, those are roses too. You know, it's like a parent who gets to see their child excel, you know, based on what was instilled in them, how they were raised, what you taught them. You know, so I get that same kind of pride, proud moment when I see younger cats now who can just be themselves, you know, and celebrate it for it. Um, there's a lot of good younger singers out there 
you know, who are queer, proud, doing the thing, you know? And um, lucky for them, they didn't have to go through what I went through. 